Today, though, the S&P snapped back, and while the VIX came down, it finished the day around 18. While we've had a lot of turbulence, Sebastian's worried that the volatility index seems to be creeping up along with the stock market. Why does that matter? Because as Sebastian points out, over the past couple of years, every time the S&P's had a rapid rally that failed to really bring down the VIX, that's what we had today, maybe, it resulted in some sort of sell-off, even when everyone was getting all excited and all bulled up. The most notable one being the big blow-up in January of 2018, when people really went nuts. Now, Sebastian doesn't believe we're in for a big breakdown here, especially not after the recent carnage. But when he sees the market snapping back like this, while the volatility index has really kept pace, well, he worries that the upside might be more limited than a lot of people expected when they saw the news from the president this morning. And just look at today's trajectory, okay? The S&P 500 pole vaulted above 2,900 right at the open, and then it pretty much flatlined for the rest of the session. And that's why Sebastian thinks we may need at least a few days to digest these gains. As long as the VIX stays stuck above 16, he says it's a sign that you shouldn't place too much trust in the rally. So what does Sebastian want to see before he can get on board with this run? He says the market needs to pull back a bit for a couple of days, then hopefully we get a slower, more logical rally. Today's move was not at all, not at all discriminating. Not all discriminating. It took up the good with the bad, and that worries me. Uh, the winners from the tariff exemption with the stocks that have nothing to do with the exemption. More on that later. Until we digest these recent gains, Sebastian predicts that the fear gauge will stay above 16, and this market's going to chop around. Here's the bottom line. Oh, I know we had a fantastic run today, but the charts, as interpreted by VIX master Mark Sebastian, suggest that you still need to be wary, that we may not be done selling off. While he's not predicting a big decline, he thinks you should be prepared for choppy waters and perhaps a modest pullback. The averages haven't really digested these latest gains. And like we saw last week, big moves higher can result in some serious stock market reflux, which is why I keep this on hand. As for me, I like where we are right now, but that's no excuse for throwing caution to the wind. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.